All right, welcome back. Well, did you know that today is National Lost Sock Day? Is it? I've Apparently. always lost my socks in like the dryer. <laughs> like I wash them, then I put them in the dryer, and then they magically disappear. <laughs> it happens to everybody. And so we thought it would be fun to do a little craft of if you just have that solid, that one sock. <laughs> the sock is going solo. Um, what you can do with it. So we're actually going to make a little bunny. So it's nice. a craft you can do with your kids, especially on a day like today where it's raining and it's miserable outside. So. Right, it's a very cute craft yeah. to do. Yeah, so we're going to do that. All right, so we're just going to take a sock. Okay. Pick whichever sock you would like, I guess. I'm going to go with this one. Okay. And we have to put some rice in it. Now, there are a few ways to do this. You can put it over a cup. You could grab um, like one of those bigger rolls of tape and you can use that on there. Yes. Um, we're doing this the hard way. So I'm just going to pour some in your sock. You can okay. pour some in my sock and yeah. we're going to do it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to fill the sock up to about where the heel is. A lot of rice. Yeah, it is a lot of rice. And this is going to be the body of our little bunny. Um, bonus points, you can use this for a little heating pad if your kid's not Ooh. feeling well. Yeah. Because rice is a really, really great uh, heat conductor, so you yes. can just put that in your, and we'll actually do some more, and you can put that in your um, microwave, let it warm oh. up, and then can you imagine that if your kid's homesick from school, they're not feeling well, they can cuddle with a bunny. You're so, so innovative. I actually got this uh, idea from our producer, Emily. Yeah, she's Love been her. on top of these crafts. She is. The Pinterest master. So we're just going to kind of twist this now. We've gone up to the heel. Um, this is going to be the body. This is going to be the head. We're just going to twist this just kind of for our own sake at this moment. We want to keep this in there, okay. obviously. And then I'm going to cut some string because we need to create the ribbon. The ribbon, yeah, the head and the body. Like so Peter Rabbit. It is a little bit. I'm actually going to twist this first. Okay. So we're going to get about two thirds in the body, one third in the head. Is kind of how we want to go. Okay. And we're going to tie it tightly. You can do this with string. You could do this with bread twine. ties. Yeah. Twine. If you got twine, sure. Whatever you want to do. Um, also, you can use this as like a little bunny scarf. If you would like to do that. It would be like he's just chilling. It's a cold, breezy day. So he's wearing his little scarf. Right. He's styling. He is. Actually, he matches you. So right. The beige. Clearly, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> It's so funny when you sent me that video of uh, Steve Harvey saying that you got to oh buy gosh. five suits and you can interchange. That was genius. Yeah. We're going to have to uh, do a segment on that, I think, because that was so smart and it helps you really kind of downsize your wardrobe. Yes. But it creates like 70 outfits. It's so good. So he's got his little scarf. bow on there, a little scarf. Yep. And then we're going to tie the top of it. Okay. It's coming together. You can kind of tell like right now, like this is going to be the bunny ears. Yeah. I love this. Twist that around because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Okay, great. So yes, then we're going to tie this part. Um, I guess if you wanted, say that it was a girl bunny versus a boy bunny, uh -huh. you could put the little bow on her head too. That's right. an option. Or use the pink, mm -hmm. different colors. Absolutely. All right, so that's tied. So, so you we've got, the, got body. the body and the head. And now we're going to create the ears. This is the easiest part. You're just going to cut it, but we're kind of going to cut it in a little bit of a diagonal. So we know that this is the middle. Well, man, this is amazing. And then we're going to just cut a diagonal into the middle. So it can have the protruding bunny ears. Yes, sir. And Look I, at this. like I said, the crafts woman <laughs> of the year. I was actually just reading something the other day, or maybe it was TikTok. I don't know. I get a lot from TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, that was like, all right, I'm going to give you like the keys to life, like figure out what you want to do with your life. And it was like, what do you enjoy doing where you lose track of time? And I was like, bam, crafts. Crafts. <laughs> so, so apparently I'm living my life stream. That's pretty great. You definitely are. Yeah. And you're well, giving the viewers beautiful crafts to do with their children yeah. on a day like this. When yeah. It's just dreary outside. But do be careful, guys. Yep. You know, flash flood warnings are out there. There's a lot of... For sure. Road closures that you need to be mindful of. So, And we're going to get to that, actually. We're going to have yeah. uh, Lisa Green back on with us here in a little bit. Kind of give us an update. But look at our bunny. Look how bunny it is. Isn't that cute? And so, of course, you can uh, also, the best part, yes. I think, is you want to put the little eyes on and the little bunny mouth. And the X for the nose. Perfect. Look at it. Oh, little bunny. 
So you can do this at home, obviously. You probably have rice sitting around. You probably got a sock, and you can at least find one thing for string, and that's all you need. Here's the list of uh, items right here that you can make that with. Super easy, but like we said, perfect for a day like today when it's rainy and gross outside. And you got to do something to brighten up the kids' day. You right. Know? Yeah. We make it fun, simple, and easy. Connect with the kids and have a cute little bunny. Perfect. We love this. Yay. Now, yeah. coming up on today's show, we'll be listening and list, listing all the craft areas that Kinberg Creations is up with next. Yeah.